Welcome back, everyone. We're in, in this episode of the Good Life Video Project. We are talking about something that is extremely, extremely important to the good life as a whole. So we live in soybean and corn country. And the number of corn fields around here has grown exponentially. Uh, maybe not exponentially, but it's grown a lot over the last couple of years due to all the ethanol plants that have started and increased the number of consumption of and need for field corn. So that has increased the number of seed corn plants, seed corn fields needed to generate the corn. And this is one of the areas where a large majority of fields are seed fields. So we wanted to do a story about something that affects, you know, probably 50 to 75 percent of the families that live in the rural, the small towns. It also affects some of the other the big cities even. Just because they couldn't find enough kids, they would go to big cities to pull kids. And it's a great, it has become a great way for teenagers earn money during the summer but there have been a lot of changes too in that as you can see we are in the early stages of corn growing we are not quite yet at tasseling and I'll show you some video some aerial shots of corn after it's tasseled um, possibly even have some seed corn fields in here from some aerial shots with a drone. So let's go to that now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're here this morning in a cornfield to tell you about an important part to the good life and the agricultural community that we live in, and that is detasseling. That is the removing of the top part of a corn plant called the tassel, which allows these rows called female rows to produce the seed for next year's corn crop. And we're here to talk to Bart's detasseling about the process of detasseling that is an important part of the good life. Oh, heartland, you got my heart so. There are a couple of different parts to detasseling. The first one being when this machine, a cutter, goes through the field and initially cuts all the tassels and pulls them off of the cornfield. But that's not the most important part. No. The most important part is when these buses roll up to the fields and kids pour out of them to go through the fields and check to make sure every single female plant has had its tassel removed. When I asked Mark Bartholomew how many kids they had employed, he said, we're uh, about 320. Everyone who is the tassel knows the all too familiar sound of the tassel being pulled out of the plant. <laughs> what makes the tasseling so special is that it is somewhat of a rite of passage for many teenagers in both the city and rural Nebraska ever since I was a kid who detasseled in the 80s, which is about the same time the Bartholomew family started detasseling before incorporating in 1996. For many, this is their first job, like my youngest son, age 12. Tasseling teaches these boys and girls how to work hard and also have fun doing it. Conquering a cornfield leads them to knowing they can conquer anything and do so with a smile on their face. They also learn the value of teamwork and sticking by each other through thick and thin. One of the things that Bart prides themselves on is developing these teams into leaders that will come back and lead crews after they have grown up or moved on to college. The traits these kids learn as tasslers will serve them the rest of their lives, and companies who know they've worked in the field will hire them knowing the quality of workers they will be getting. 
That way, these young'uns will grow up with the pride of a job well done. We thank Barton Castle for allowing us to tag along and experience their last day of the 2017 season. As well as witnessing the fun of Watermelon Day. And see the group sing happy birthday to Mark's son. At the end of the day, I asked my kids their view of decastling. My name is Ashna. I've been decastling for three years. Um, my favorite part is being with my friends, and the worst part is having tall fields. My name is Elijah. It's my first year to castling. My favorite thing about castling is get to hang out with my friends and meet some new people. And the worst thing is probably days like today where it's really cold. So the life lessons of learning to work through difficulties and to treasure those around you is what helps make you castling a major part of the good life. Thanks for watching. And remember to let us know what you think, like, and share the good life around. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed that, and maybe you've heard about detasseling, put in the comments let us know if you've ever detasseled before. So remember to let us know what you think, like, and share the good life around. <laughs>